And just moments ago, we learned that police arrested the suspect who is accused of murdering a man in the West End. He's being charged with murder in this case. The SWAT team was also called out for this incident today, searching an entire downtown building for the shooter. Taylor Nimmo was there. This all started earlier this afternoon when a man in his 60s was shot and killed behind the hook fish and chicken on Lynn Street in the West End. And this is the second homicide in the span of 24 hours in the West End. When police arrived on scene, people who lived nearby told police that the person who pulled the trigger ran into a building on Dayton Street. Gerald Bates returned home to see police everywhere. There were uh, policemen all over the street with guns and, you know, rifles. And I was trying to figure out what had happened. I thought maybe somebody had gotten hurt in one of the buildings, but then I saw them kind of uh, like surrounding the building. Come to the front door, your empty hands up. Do it now. The SWAT team was searching the units, trying to find the potential suspect. We evacuated some residents that were in the building, make sure they were safe, and the person that they thought uh, they saw go in after they searched the building, it took a very long time to search it, was not in the building. And Captain Saunders' message for the community. I just want to tell the people in the West End, we are on top of this, okay? Uh, we understand they're hurting and we want answers, and they deserve answers. Bates says it's an issue that stretches far beyond just the West End. Turn on the news every day, there's something going on. So I don't personalize it and say, oh, it's just all down here, because it's everywhere. You know, I just wish that there was a way that, you know, we could kind of progress beyond this, at least get the crime rate down. It seemed like that, you know, there's just so much going on. In the West End, Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News.